welcome back. We are going to be installing our truss rod and making our skunk strip and then gluing that in place. Here you can see the arc of the truss rod follows the channel that we rounded earlier. We're going to be looking at the anchor that I've made and the, the nut quickly. Here I've made the nut out of a 3 8 rod, half inch long, a little longer than standard. It gives me a little extra thread uh, grip and I've used a three-sided file to file the teeth in there so that it'll grip the inside of the end of the plow hole. There's the Warmoth nut that I've ordered. I've rounded the end to give it a little more of a smoother appearance and I chased the threads to keep any uh, filings out and was able to add a little more length because there was some trouble there. Here's the 3 8 plug cutter from Lee Valley that I used to make my uh, insert plug for the anchor end. Uh, gives a nice smooth and long um, plug. Works really good. This is the template I uh, used to mark off my blank for the skunk strip. You can see on the masking tape how it uh, matches the arc in the channel. I kept it the same depth so that when it's sitting into the channel I know I need 3 16 sitting proud of the back of the neck. Here's the skunk strip just kind of sitting on top of the channel. I haven't pushed it in. I've machined it to its proper thickness and added the uh, arc to match the route. Um, there's just enough snugness in the channel and skunk strip that if I push it in you can just tell that it's just just slightly snug but not overly so. And We can check the other side as well. Once it's glued, the glue will add as a lubricant and it'll slide down nicely into the channel and then we can clamp it tightly down onto the truss rod. The other thing I'm doing with this neck is I'm not going to be installing the plug and I'm going to leave the nut off the heel end. That way when I install the skunk strip and once it's set I can tap the truss rod forward slightly just to make sure it isn't uh, stuck and we should have no problem with that. That's how I usually do it. And okay, I've just glued up the skunk strip and I'm just about ready to drop her into the slot. So we'll do that now. I'll grab the okay, vices. here is our skunk strip installed. You can see the excess glue as it got pushed up as I dropped it down. From here I'll clamp it in. It's actually snug that I probably don't even need clamps but we're going to add clamps just for insurance. And the end here you can see I'm slightly short and probably my angle was a little bit off but what I've done is I've kept a little baggie of some of the uh, dust from the walnut when I was sanding and I'll just use that to fill her in and just kind of close that up. Not a big deal. I'll mix it in with some glue and we'll be all set to go.